going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Game Video here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Saga Lock. I apologize profusely for getting this episode out a day late. I am so sorry. Uh, I was a stupid boy and didn't get my or I did get my assignments done on time, but I didn't space them out correctly. So yeah, my entire day yesterday was comprised of doing my homework. So homework is super important. Always do that. School comes first in all situations. Because, you know, you got to advance your life, get yourself ready uh, for the future. But anyway, hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Um, today, we are getting a Choose My Starter. And to, at the vote of 5-2-1, to two to one, Vulpix is your winner. So I'm super excited. We got all of our Mons into the game, which is awesome. Uh, they all should have their randomized abilities, thanks to Rebel Trainer. Again, for all the wonderful thing, there is our wonderful Lady B. Oh, look at that. Look at that. She actually has her kiddo. Um, and we should actually go into the Pokemon Summary and we can actually look at them, hopefully. Oh, Bulbix has an item. Oh, God. Oh, God. You have a TM on you, thank God. Okay. So... <laughs> forecast changes with the weather okay that's not bad that's not bad uh well it is because it doesn't do anything but I, i'd rather a nothing nature than anything else with the docile uh then we have uh aaron has sticky hold you know what that's not a bad ability i'll i'll take it no item theft that's something that's good we got early bird on barry who probably won't ever fall asleep so that doesn't really help barry but you know it's something it's not a bad ability so i'm not mad as long as it's not negative it's fine and then we got b with airlock with no weather effects being taken so you know what that's not bad everybody's kind of got this neutral ability that has nothing like i guess not bad bad's not the right word but nothing is too um i can't think of it nothing is too um I guess, yeah, nothing's too broken. There we go, there we go. Oh, this is not a place to check. Let's go back to my lab. Okay, I've heard so much about you and your father. I also heard that you took three new Pokemon from the other regions. Like, I can't believe it. I guess your father's blood is in your veins after all. Ah, oh, yes, thanks for rescuing me. I'd like you to have a Pokemon that you used earlier. I think it just does that. That was not meant to happen. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Um. Wait a second. Did we break it already? Are we gonna have to nickname our uh, Volpix off screen? Or did he just straight up give us another Pokemon? <laughs> I hope that he didn't just straight up give us another Pokemon. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold the phone. What do we? Yeah, we just got to re-nickname B. <laughs> That's amazing. What a star to the series. <laughs> That's just wonderful. I'm crying because that's just. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to happen. Okay, so before I progress and get further into this, I'm gonna nickname the Nine Tails after somebody who wanted it named, I think, Fushuma or Fushoma or something. I don't know. I'm not Fushuma. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like dying inside. It's fine. I'm not. I'm. I'm okay. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to find it. Hum. It was. It was in the I rate these starters comments. Oh my god. Is it just gone? I swear. It's 
Somebody said, can you name the Vulpix blank? Oh no. Ah, there it is. It, Vulpix, if you do pick Vulpix, can you name it Kuma or Kurama? Yes, we can. That's its name. Okay, I was like, I swear I kept the comment. It was one of those that YouTube was being stupid and didn't give me it. Okay, that like makes a ton more sense. I was just, I was like, just solidly worried about that. Do you give me running shoes? I swear you do. Oh, wait, no, I think you give me running shoes. Do you give me running shoes after I hit this point? And she's like, oh my god, don't forget your running shoes. Nope, it's after. Okay, good to know, good to know, good to know. Oh, because, yeah, you're not going to see too much speed up in this game because of the amount of just amazing... <laughs> that would be an encounter, wouldn't it? Um, strength, I don't know. Is B, like, I don't know how this all works. Like, okay, good. Okay, it's just the game is so much better that it feels weird. Got it. That's good. I'm glad. I am very glad that we're in Generation 3. You can tell by the hype and the excitement. Um, also just realized this is a kill episode, so y'all are killing something today. Um, which definitely doesn't make me feel the greatest, because I know something's gonna die. So I'm gonna have to, I mean, hey, I mean, I guess that's the best time to have a stupid glitch like that, though, is on a episode in which, like... Yeah, that's, like, such a good episode to have the gl a glitch like that happen that I know- I just wasn't expecting that glitch to happen! It's like, oh, yeah, name your Kangaskhan. It's like, what? I mean, it's already been named B, the Kangaskhan. So I had to rename it B, the Kangaskhan, which is just hilarious. Um, item, take, I want to see the, uh, what the TM is. Oh, it's Barrage. It's terrible. Okay, good to know. <laughs> but yeah, so we can fight May. May's going to be level 6, although I feel like we should have something. Like, strength is a really good move for us to have. Um... And it doesn't matter if we lose to May because we haven't started our Nuzlocke yet, so it's kind of good to see what May is going to have. My guess is that she has the, um, whatever that one on the other side was. It was Gramble, Vulpix, and something that I don't remember. Oh, Dratini. I think she's going to have the Dratini, which actually is going to be a little... Wait, is that why you guys did that? Wait, did you guys pick full picks just so that I could that 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 she has a? Yo, why did I not realize this before? You guys picked full picks so that she can have a Dragonite on her team, guaranteed, bro. How did I not think of that? Hold up. Bro, y'all trying to screw me over. Wait, I didn't actually think that was, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> how did I not? What? Okay, that's crazy. Okay. I didn't realize you were picking Vulpix for that reason. Uh, oh my God. I feel like, I feel like that, that some of you did that and others uh, like didn't really think about that op that being a thing because i mean to be fair she doesn't we do we actually ever get to fight it when it is a dragonite good question i don't actually know the answer to that because i think well uh with the 15 percent level boost i don't know um i feel like dragonite evolves at 55 so i don't think we actually do which is thank god um what level does dragonite evolve Garden. Dragonite is a dual type dragon, flying pseudo legendary Pokemon introduced in Generation I. It evolves from Dragonair starting at level 55. Okay, so yeah, I don't think we actually get to fight a Dragonite, thank God. Uh, from May at least. So, whoo, lucky me. So, you guys were actually being nice to me because Dragonair is probably equivalent, equivalent to Grand Bull. What I would say it's equivalent to Grand Bull, like, it's not like the worst Pokemon, but it's not the best Pokemon ever either. So, thank you guys for being amazing. And you guys are gonna start pun. You guys, I feel like this is the time we're in Gen three. You guys are gonna start punishing me. There's no, there's like no if ands or buts about this. Like punishments are about to happen. Like 
you guys are gonna start just wreaking havoc on the team. Like, I mean, I get we still have like four generations, so or oh maybe five, depending on what I can do. Uh, yeah, and uh, sword and shield, but I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do in sword and shield at that point. Cause like I said, one through seven was guaranteed. Sword and shield is just gonna be weird, cause I just never really have done anything with sword and shield. So it's like I just try to figure out what I can do is gonna be a very interesting situation. Also, I need to go to the options because this text is slow. There we go. <laughs> now it should be a lot better, because that, that's like ridiculous how slow that text scrolls. There, now mom's gonna be like, oh my god, I got running shoes for you, baby. Like, you're the best. Uh, and I'm like, yes, mom, you're the best, actually. I'm like, I love my mom a ton. Like, when I say I love my mom a ton, like, I literally, I mean it. Like, she, of course, every son and daughter like or not every that's not the right word but like a lot of you know sons and daughters are gonna be like my mom is the best and it's like i can say that about my mom like i believe that she has done ah we got it jonas let's go oh my god i was not expecting that okay anyway i can say that my mom is just an amazing person and i love you know being able to talk to her hang out with her and like just be like in her presence just being in her presence makes me happier bro okay so now that i've done with that conversation like bro we got a jonas immediately that's amazing ah oh, no oh my god ah <laughs> no! No! I didn't mean to do that! Oh, I'm so pissed! I can't believe that happened. Bruh! That was a Jonas! Oh, shit. Ah! I'm so upset. I am, like, ridiculously upset. But it's deserved, okay? That was a freaking Jonas. Like, I'm never gonna run into a Jonas again. And, and like, ah, and it had needle arm. It had the best thing for it. I mean, I get, okay. And everybody's going to be like, bro, why are you mad? It's a Cacnea. It's trash until generation four. And to that, I'll say fair, but it's a Jonas. And, <laughs> and to that, you guys should say fair back because like, yes, was it a Pokemon that I probably would not be able to use effectively? Yeah, it, it, it's trash in Generation 3 because of the fact that both of its uh, move types are special. So, again, get it because it's a physical attacker. But it's still stupid that I ran away from it because at least it could have been death fodder. No, I'm joking. It wouldn't. Cacnea is never death fodder. That is just me joking. And if you guys don't understand that, then I'm sorry. We can actually sell TMs now for money, so that's good. God, I'm so upset. That I don't know. I'm just ridiculously upset about that. I mean, I guess I couldn't have used Barry. Which, speaking of Barry, I don't know why the heck I did not put you in front. But there, you're in front now, <laughs> Barry. Um, because I need you for catching Pokemon. Gosh, it's so upsetting. Our encounter here. That's <laughs> been cushion cat. What the fuck? This is an episode. <laughs> Oh my god, what is this episode? <laughs> this is the episode of Jonas references, apparently. <laughs> oh my god, what the... <laughs> this is just one of those episodes that are just like, off the wall and like, what the heck. So, we had Pincushion Cat and Jonas' mascot in the same exact episode in back-to-back -back encounters which of course we're gonna catch pink cushion cat right thank god okay i don't even know i can't even text jonas because he's actually like doing stuff today uh oh my god okay he's getting, uh, i'm gonna should i just name this jonas i am actually gonna just name this jonas because of pin cushion cat 
And, like, I love Del Caddy because of that. I mean, I guess I could have named it Mommy Cat, but Mommy Cat it has a different mascot now. So, okay, route one of two. Oh, I forgot. This episode's, like, the episode that has a lot of editing in it. That's fine. Okay, beautiful eye. Are you worth it? I'm gonna say probably? Um, oh wait, but this thing's gonna be on the team if I, oh. Oh, I mean, you guys are killing something anyway. Um, and I can't really get any other encounters, so I, I believe it's worth it. Plus, if y'all know me, I'll just carry this to the end of the game and have it be level 70 and have it be the only Pokemon that I use. Uh, obviously that was, it's a reference to Del, the wonderful, wonderful Dust Dogs. Um, but yeah, knowing me, that would be the case. Uh, I can only record one episode, that's sad. Um, cause I, I mean, I have to record a second episode. Uh, when, when do I work tomorrow, actually? Do I work late tomorrow? I feel like I do. Like, my brain says I do, but I probably am, like, the full day shift. Oh, no, I actually don't. Okay, yeah, I can just record tomorrow, too. Okay. Her wow. My work schedule is, like, god tier. What is this week? This week's so amazing. 66% of my classwork is related to math, which I just boop, 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 boop. And then my work schedule is backloaded, which is amazing for me because I like, because I can get all my work done, have no stress, and then we can stream and do all that kind of stuff. So I'm actually, this is gonna be a good week, honestly. I feel it. I feel the good vibes of the week. Please catch. I just feel amazing vibes for this week, and I hope you guys do too because this week is gonna be amazing. I, I like I said, I feel it. I'm gonna. I might as well just Giga Drain, right? Like, it's quad resist. And it should just do, like, a little. Yeah, like, that does nothing. And it's still asleep. Let's go. I can Giga Drain you again. I just need, like, a crit Giga Drain. That would be preferred, but I'm not going to get that, so. Beautiful is going to wake up now, right? It has to. Okay, it was asleep for a long time. Can we not? Can we not do that, Beautiful Eye? I would um, greatly appreciate that. I only got three potions because I was being dumb. <sighs> okay. When this ep episode is literally just catching everybody. This is like a quick episode, and I get that. Uh, but don't worry. Episodes are going to be way quicker than this. It's just kind of the nature of the way that today's episode went. Plus, I have running shoes now, so it'll be a lot of just run through. Can we get it? Yes, we did. Uh, I'm going to name this. I'm going to name it Nikki. Because I'm not naming any of you after a beautiful eye. I like, I respect y'all way more than that. Jeez, my encounters were interesting. This is gonna be an interesting Nuzlocke, apparently. I didn't set them to similar string. Is this just like... Weird, okay. I don't know. I'm very curious now if I'm gonna find like a, a god tier Pokemon in the grass. Or did I randomize this completely different from what I normally do? I highly doubt that I did that, though. I guess that's how we're going to end today's episode, is trying to find a god tier encounter so that I don't feel, like, awkward. Oh my god, okay. Me, we're not going to use speed up as much. Also, me. Speeding up to look for a god tier encounter. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, so it is not randomized uh, to similar strength. Because Rhydon would not have been there. Because Rhydon... And same with Graveler. I don't think Graveler would have been there in a similar strength situation. Okay, cool. Cool. Okay, so yeah, because there's no way Rhydon is here, right? Like, 
Graveler, I can see. Rhydon, I just... I can't. I couldn't see Rhydon. Okay. Because those, both of those aren't constituting a first round Pokemon. But anyway, hope you all have a wonderful day. I love you all. Keep up the amazing work you guys do every single day. Make sure, as it's an audience choice, to kill one of the team members that we have on the team. We do have a full team of six. So it's actually going to be an extremely interesting situation. That's the wrong thing. Here is the team. Make sure to let us know who y'all are killing. Let's see what Jonas and Nikki's abilities are as well, because we didn't get to see that. Jonas has Stench, so it repels wild Pokemon, and uh, Beautifly is Lightning Rod, which means that uh, both of his physical moves absolutely don't help it at all. So, yeah, to be honest, my team is really changed, and I'm curious to see who you guys are going to kill in the episode. Have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Bye!